Hey there, uh, Matt here again. Now, um, you've probably just watched the video that explained about some of the other trailers, large, um, uh, sorry, the mid, uh, the mid 2.0. Um, and you've probably watched the video that also explains about the large. Now, what I'm gonna do now is explain to you about the large 2.0. Now, the large 2.0 is a $990 plus GST upgrade from the large premium, but let me explain the difference in between the two for you. Okay, first, this is the original large, okay? Um, once again, just like the original mid, it was country, or well, it is, country miles ahead of what's already on the market, okay? As in, if you look closely, if you watch my videos, I'll explain to you everything in full detail so you understand exactly before you invest because that's a really important thing to do, especially when you spend this sort of money. Now, this is the actual um, large 2.0. So you're probably thinking, well, what's the differences? I'll start, okay? First, we've got much larger wheels on this. These are 15 inch wheels, okay? As compared to 13 inch wheels previously, okay? The 15 inch wheels, higher on gutters, easier to um, tow, easier when you hit bumps and so on and so forth. Doesn't shake things around as much. That's one of the reasons, okay? Under here, much, much stronger springs. I actually upgraded the springs, not because there's anything wrong with them on the large, because I thought it was a good idea to make a stronger, better built trailer. I've also removed the sharp edges here. Now the sharp edges is only just here, and that would happen very, very occasionally on the actual large. Now you will see that's all nice and flush. The sharp edges is gone, so nothing sticky out. Now, it'd only be ever a problem when you actually were, um, when you were actually really, really close. Now. We come around here and we'll have a look at the draw bars and you'll see the difference in between the, the, the draw bars, okay? First, the new um, uh, large 2.0, it's had the extra, the um, uh, best way to describe it is a gusset plate to make it stronger on the actual draw bar. The draw bar is also thicker as compared and slightly longer too, only a little bit, just give you a better turning circle when you're driving. Um, it's it's better than this because it's actually thicker and it has the, the um, um, stronger plate. This one here is obviously the original, okay? Both still have the disc brakes, which is by far um, an industry leading thing. Now, the actual gas holder has been taken off this. The reason why not many people were using it and they want to put a generator. And one of the reasons why this is beefed up is so if you want to put a generator, you can on the actual front, okay? Now you also see here, the actual volume of air the range hood can take, you see this is quite small, okay? Still a good range hood, still industry leading in the large. However, in the actual large 2.8, we've upgraded it. So you get a lot more airflow coming out, which is what you really, really want. Now, we come around here and you'll see, you probably may have saw, saw me talking in the mid video on the actual, um, the original large, which is that one over there, um, basically, you have to lift these out. You literally just have to lift it and maneuver it around. This one folds over, lays back in beautifully on a hinge. Now it's only on one side intentionally because most people are only using a one side, if that makes sense. Now, over and above that, um, the light and the circuit breaker has now actually been, the light is an LED roof with proper um, cover so there's no chance of any problems. Plus, your actual circuit breakers is up there. Previously, they're actually underneath the sink. Previously, the actual circuit breaker, you can see I'm six foot four, look at that. My head's like rubbing on the light every now and again. That's fine. Okay, so um, previously the circuit breaker was actually down in underneath, in underneath the sink, so I moved it. Now it's up here, so if you do have any, and it's, it's highly unlikely you'll have problems with power, but at least you can get access to it very quickly, very easily with no problems. Now, over and above that, we've also upgraded the fridge. The fridge is physically, they're still the same size, but it's a much more, um, powerful fridge is a bigger compressor underneath there that really, really helps the situation. Also, over and above that, just like the mid 2.0, the large 2.0 has an actual proper, and I'll pull this right out, a proper real hot water system. Some of these stuff is not hooked up yet, it's not totally finished, I just wanted to make the video because I've got it done so I can show you, okay? So the actual, um, the actual um, hot water system is just like you'd have in the house. Now, let me show you something here. The actual, um, you've got actually real taps here, just like you'd have in the house and your two big sinks. This sink 
is not the correct sink. There's another larger sink that comes in here as well, which is the same size as one of these bowls. But this one's a bit small. Even this ain't perfect, as in now, what I'm showing in the video, but I'll explain it to you so you so, sort of see where you're at. You get your better quality range hood, which I've already discussed, your circuit breaker up there, plus you'll have your doors here that slide now, and I'll go compare on the actual um, large itself, and you would have saw me do it on the other video. You can see the difference in the actual uh, original large. There's no doors here, so your stuff couldn't be secure. And people were saying, Matt, how can we secure stuff? And I was giving them solutions. I said, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make the large 2.0 the absolute logical choice for anyone investing in a food trailer anywhere in Australia, they're gonna to come to the food trailer king and they're gonna go, the large 2.0 is the only logical choice because it's got everything you possibly need at a good, fair, and reasonable price, right? So that's why I changed things. So no, no, you can see here, no doors. You don't have a proper hot water system. You have these, these were okay, but they're nowhere near as good as they can be um, when you have the real proper um, hot water system. And you see a fridge, just take a snapshot of that fridge in your mind, okay? You'll see that fridge. And when we come over here to this actual, to the actual uh, large 2.0, you'll see the base of it is thicker. It's a larger compressor, more solid, okay? It feels more closed in here. The reason why it feels more closed in because the, the benches are slightly wider, got a lip there, and you got these doors. When they're open, it's a whole lot different. Uh, the, other, the other old large is open. So these, you can just slide shut. So when you're driving along, Sweet as, all your stuff's in there. Now, when you're done at the end of the day, um, you can lock it up and you're done. Just like that. So, um, basically, if you had to summarize what everything is, when you're looking at these two trailers, um, basically, you've got the bigger drawbar, bigger springs, bigger wheels. That just gives you ease of towing, more strength, more weight you can carry, okay? You still got your disc brakes, your bigger, more powerful range hood. Um, you've got your real proper household style taps, okay? Your three sinks, your proper household style hot water system. Uh, you've also got your um, bigger, more powerful fridge. Physical size the same, but compressor bigger and higher quality fridge, okay? Um, you've also got better center drain, much bigger center drain. You've also got the sliding uh, doors and the, I think I mentioned it a second ago, the real hot water. You still got the LEDs, you've got the circuit breaker up top, and you still got the waterproof. You can see on this one, it's the best way of descri describing it. That's only a bit of plastic from wrapping. So we've upgraded the waterproof as well. So if you see a trailer without that, you don't want to touch it. And I'll show you, this is the reason why I upgraded this, because this is what you normally have to do. Mate, a lot of trailers don't even have these, but I had these on this model. But now I've upgraded the model, it's much better. And I'm going to show you something right here, right? You can see, this is our, our old waterproof system. Now this is a good system, right? And it never ever leaked, except very, very occasionally I'd hear from a customer, a tiny bit of water would get in there. I didn't even want even a tiny bit of water getting in. So mate, now I made this, and I pulled this plastic off. I just still isn't in detailed or anything like that. Now I've made this, so basically nothing can get through. It's actually rubber and it's glued on there, okay? So it's really, really um, of decent quality. So you can see, how much better the large 2.0 is um, as compared to the actual um, um, standard large, okay? You've got handles on the outside and everything, so you've got, you've got it easier. So, um, what do you do if you want to uh, invest in any one of the food trailers? First, um, if you're watching this on DVD, you can go to foodtrailerking.com.au forward slash step three. You can register there, I'll give you a call. You can call us or you can drop us an email at office at foodtrailerking.com.au. Um, ideally, you want to know exactly what you want to do, as in have some idea what type of food and what type of trailer you want, so we can narrow it down. If you need finance, we can put you in contact with the right people. There's a whole heap of different finance options. Um, and then also, um, it, generally these days, even though in some of the other videos, I sort of will contradict myself here, there was a waiting list. I'm trying to keep some trailers in stock with the goal of having a delivery in around about 21 days, okay? Doesn't work perfectly every time, it comes down to various options. Um, point is, if you want to do something, if you want a um, large 2.0, mid 2.0, any of the different sizes, you've got to go ahead and give us a call. Now, remember, the large 2.0 is a upgrade of um, $990 plus GST over and above the large premium price. So I'll just spin around again 
and just make it crystal clear, the large is, as you would have saw in the previous video, 18,990 plus your GST, okay? The other costs like Red Joe and stuff would work out on an individual basis, okay? But they're all written down the bottom of that page where the actual large page is. Then, if you want to upgrade to the large 2.0, you get a bucket load of stuff for all the extras. In fact, it's probably a no-brainer. The actual, the trailers in the market are down here. There's a lot of crap around. If you actually do your research and actually look, you'll see there's rubbish everywhere. Then, if you have a look at the large, that's still a market leader. That was the market leader, okay? Now, you look at the large 2.0, I've just taken another level again, okay? So, you know what to do. Um, if you want to, if you're interested, go ahead, call us, drop us an email, fill in the form on this thing. Um, we'll have a chat, go through your exact needs, work out whatever, what everything is. Everything starts with a $100 refundable deposit, and then we'll keep the ball rolling through. So do that now, or if you're interested, keep watching through um, this video to look at some of the other models. Hey, so I've covered off on the large 2.0. Now, that video I filmed a little while ago while we actually created the large 2.0, um, it's become like super, super popular. One of the things you really, really have to watch when you're investing in an actual trailer, there's a lot of things that you may not realize until it's too late. For example, cupboard doors, you'll see trailers out there um, that have, they don't have cupboard doors. So essentially what happens is when you start driving, all your stuff just shoots out onto the ground and you can't solve that problem. It's one of the reasons why I created a large 2.0 and it'll co cost you a small fortune to fix that. So this is still the large 2.0, okay? There's a couple of upgrades that we've done, okay, to make it a better trailer. Um, there's all little things that you don't even know, okay? The price is still the same, but there's better things, okay? First, this actual particular range hood here is actually designed so um, nothing drops onto your actual food, okay? And you might go, well, why is the range hood like that? Um, basically, we had a couple of councils say, hey, you can't have this over the top range hood, so we upgraded that. That's an extra cost to us, but no extra cost to you, okay? We've also upgraded the tires. They're just a more heavy due to wider track tire, makes the trailer actually ride a lot more stable. Now, more importantly, okay, I'll show you a couple other things because some people do ask from time to time, okay? I'll show you in here, and you'll notice that there's no, um, that you'll notice that the, the actual support jacks aren't down. You'll notice in here a couple of things, right? While I'm talking about it. First, our system here, which I've explained in other videos, our hot water system is like basically premium. That's pressurized, okay? Um, so hot and cold, hot and cold. Now this is your hand washing sink. The most important thing you must remember, okay? If you're in New South Wales, and sometimes people in Queensland like it anyway, we can happily give you one of these splash guards, okay? To make everything comply to the laws, you have to have a splash guard like this. It can be removable, so it's easier to clean. This is your stop when you're washing your actual hands, um, knocking things knocking um, things over, and plus it's on the inside. One of the little things we do for you as well, we give you some um, some oils, a specialized oil to um, make your benches nice and clean. It's all part, this is pretty much ready to go for a customer. Now, um, you'll see everything's all tested and tagged. The electrical, automatically you'll get banned from places if you don't have the right electrical, don't have the right points and so on and so forth. Now, really, really important, the reason I came in here, what we've done, this is still the large 2.0, so everything you watched in the last video still applies. However, right, the fridge that was previously here, okay, what we found is people were coming and go, okay, I want to cook here, but then the fridge was in the way. So we've got a better fridge, okay? The capacity is about 20 liters less. We've got a better fridge. Now this will go down, it will freeze, and it'll also turn into a fridge. So you can use it as either all. And now we put this fridge here. So you can just picture yourself serving. You're serving away, you wanna grab something out of the fridge, drink, no problems. You got someone else working there, no problem. Just grab something, pass it to them, they're, they're sweet. They can sort of have themselves set up on this corner. You obviously still got the fold out table as well, okay? And we're re really, really good to go. Once again, I'll point out to you these actual sliding doors, okay? These are like gold. If you have a trailer that's just a bench and underneath it, there's nothing, basically you're gonna have stuff absolutely flying absolutely everywhere. Now, I'll show you something else that we've done as an innovation, okay? We're always ahead of the game here, okay? Um, these are set up, you'll see a lot of stickers on the trailers these days. These are set up so your staff, anyone working for you, there's always a sign say, hey, open the windows, everything should be kept um, clean and hygienic. We do this as sort of an extra thing for you, just to help you out. Now, um, I'll go under here, 
and show you a couple other things that we've done. First, a lot of councils are going this way and it's an optional upgrade. So what I'm about to show you is not a standard part of the large 2.0, but all our trailers now have it available as upgrade. The XL, the Maxi, and the other trailers, they, um, some have it standing, I mentioned that in the video, but this in particular, under here is a fresh water tank and at the front of the trailer is a gray water tank. Now, as an extra 800 bucks plus GST for stainless steel tanks, but here's what happens, right? A lot of the councils have been going, hey, we don't want you having grey water and we don't want you having fresh water inside the actual trailers. Not all councils are doing it yet, but they're doing it. So first, it frees up area under there where the hot water systems is, so you don't have to lug um, um, bottles back and forth, right? Then, under here, you'll see grey water, fresh water, okay? So for your fresh water, you just simply plug a hose in there. So much more easier to use, okay? Then, under here, you've actually got your um, grey water, so you can just literally open that up. We've got to be careful, because we actually text all the tanks to make sure they don't leak before they actually go. So, there's a whole bucket load of stuff that um, happens over time that we've just been innovating, making better and making better. So, the large 2.0 is the same price as I showed you in the previous video, but to be crystal clear, I've done extra upgrades at no extra charge for you. Now, first, the actual range hood is upgraded to that type of range hood. Second, the fridge is moved from there to there, which allows us to put two little freezers in there or two other little bar fridges if you want to, or you can just use it for storage. It makes much, much better use of the actual um, um, trailer. You got the splash guard, doesn't matter if you're Queensland, New South Wales, you got the splash guard, we're happy to include that, just ask. You got hot and cold water, premium, system to run with there right we don't have any problems with these basically we, the trailer is just getting better and better and the price is remaining the same so it's really really cool um now one last thing that i should tell you the last probably innovation that we're doing on all our trailers now is essentially you'll see here that's a 15 amp circuit so this particular customer, this is about to go to a customer, this is not standard, we just add this in for a few hundred dollars extra. Basically what happens is with this 15 amp circuit, you've got your own individual uh, circuit. So people having generators on the drawbar, what we're finding, and I'm sort of gonna contradict myself in some of the other videos, right? Um, but what I was finding is people getting to site and even the quietest of the quietest generators were actually too loud, okay? They're making too much noise. Then we also found that um, people were having trouble moving the trailers because it put too much weight on the front of the trailer, okay? And also uh, the, the other issue that, that came is the actual legal towing weight. There's too much weight on the tow ball, so the car was driving like this because our goal is to make everything as good as possible. So you come here, we give you the trailer, you're happy with everything. Then afterwards, if you have any problems, we fix it straight away. And then when you're out there in your food truck in the morning talking to other food truck people and they're gonna go, where'd you get your food trailer from? You're gonna say Food Trailer King and other people come back. And that seems to work and get a lot of people referring us now. Now, um, that is the innovation. So that, and then also here, we set the trailer up on a couple of different circuits, okay? So essentially they're 15 amp circuits. So because they're 15 amp circuits, basically what happens is you can have either a 15 amp generator, like a 3.5 kVA generator. They're only 750 bucks. They work just as good as a much, much more expensive one, right? And after two years, they all die. You just go get yourself another one. It's just a part of running a business. They, they will last past that as well, right? Um, so you can just plug one here, one here, one here. And, and essentially what happens is when you actually go to site, you can run two leads, three leads, whatever, and then the generator can be off into the distance, okay? So there's no noise, so everything's nice and silent around you. You can go chain it to your car, chain it to a tree, put it somewhere um, where some other people might be running their generators and everything's sitting. Once it's 10, 15 meters away, it's much quieter and you just run your lead. So anyway, that's all the innovation. So to recap, the large 2.0 still plus GST, right? You've got the option for 800 bucks plus GST to put the two under trailer tanks, okay? You've got all your doors on your cupboard. We've upgraded the fridge, no extra cost to you. We've upgraded the actual um, range hood, upgraded the tires so they're stronger. One of the things you gotta look is the load capacity of the tires because you get knocked back and spend another 500 bucks um, on tires. The amount of stories and the amount of people that we have come to us to either buy cheap and nasty from some backyarder or alternatively even worse, they buy a second hand. 
funnily enough, this is uh, essentially people come to us, ask for prices to fix their secondhand things, okay? Or something they've tried to bring in from overseas or something themselves because it's just a wreck. We give them the price, be as low as we can. They figure out that it's gonna to be too expensive. Then essentially what happens is we see it back on Gumtree. They sell it to some other, uh, other person, okay? And then that person, that same person comes back, buys a new one and the person that originally um, had the uh, sold the the, the second the, the second hand trailer or the trailer that was faulty to start with right then a new person comes in and asks for the same quote anyway don't get caught in that trap so to recap we've got range hood we've got the upgraded tires upgraded fridge freezer and now pretty much all of the trailers are doing this so hopefully that hasn't confused you it hopefully educated you more it helped you understand things better um, um, we'll leave it there dollars plus GST for the large 2.0 with all these upgrades now, okay? So this is pretty much standard.